I'm here yourself. with a fourth year student who's taking this video. It's Gina Brand. And he's going to ask me some questions and my name is Dr. Christopher Turner. Yeah, okay, so I just want to first thank you so much for taking your time. You're very welcome. Thank um, you for wanting to do it. Yeah, so, um, so let me just uh, a brief introduction in terms of how did you start with naturopathic medicine and just a little bit about your story. Um, I graduated from National College in 1986 and uh, had attended some chiropractic colleges prior to that and found out about naturopathy because I was always looking for a practice of medicine that provided me with the widest scope of practice. I didn't want to just do adjustments, I didn't want to just do body work, I didn't want to just prescribe drugs or do surgery, I wanted to have as many different tools in my tool belt or in my ability mass to be able to treat patients in the body, mind and spirit realm. I practice very eclectically and so I include many different therapeutic tools in my, my work. Okay, that's great. Um, can you tell me in terms of um, what is your um, uh, principle, like naturopathic principle you'd, you identified the most? So there's the five so, or six rather, the healing power of nature, identifying and treating the cause and then first do no harm. Uh, doctor as a teacher, uh, treating the whole person, and the last one is about prevention. There is no one of those that I pertain to more than any others. I pertain to all of them. Mm -hmm. and I think all nature paths should. Because okay. every person needs all, all of those five or six realms to help. Health to me is the balance of the body, mind, and spirit, not solely the physical well-being. Health to me incorporates real, perceived, or imaginary, physical, mental, or spiritual complications for the patient. Mm, that's a great answer. Um, so is there any clinical per pearls you would like to share with NDs, that, uh, the current, the modern NDs that you like to? Um, I guess the basic things that I tell new grads or mm -hmm. fourth year students who are mm -hmm. about to be grads would be make sure you always touch every patient who comes in. Make sure you always send a patient home with a task something to do whether it's recording or history or diet or some task to do and let the patient know that you're actually here for them and that the time that you're spending with that patient is solely for that patient and not the next patient or the patient previous or the phone that might ring or you're actually very present for that individual mm -hmm. those would be my key things to pass on to create a good practice I also believe that cards are great advertising mm -hmm. and at the beginning of your practice I do recommend that patients take at least five to ten cards each time they come to see you mm -hmm. and ask them to hand them out to their friends. Okay that's great good so that's something definitely I could look forward to uh, and the last one is in terms of you know feel free to divulge as little or more if you want uh, what is the most grat gratifying experience you've had in your practice? For me, the most gratifying is seeing any patient of any ilk mm -hmm. improve. Mm -hmm. When I first came into Winnipeg in 86, there was one other naturopath in Winnipeg and there was one in Brandon. Wow. And one guy at the age of 90 something had retired a year before. Mm -hmm. So there was a very small community wow. here. Mm -hmm. Within the first six months, the Dr. Gruby in Brandon passed away. Oh. So then there was just Dr. Craker and myself. Mm -hmm. And from what I was able to gather, I was the first new naturopathic blood in Manitoba in, I don't know if it was 20 or 30 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. There was some 50 at some point in, in the early years of naturopathy here. So the community didn't know what naturopathy was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did a series of public lectures at the library to inform people that I was here to help not only raise my practice, but also to raise awareness of what naturopathy was. There was no cooperation within the medical professions here, and there still is very limited cooperation within the medical professions. Mm -hmm. And uh, one last question in terms of just a uh, global question. Um, in terms of where, do you, where do you see naturopathic going, or where would you like to see the profession move towards? Um, this could be a bit of a um, hot <laughs> yes. Comment. I'm not really appreciative of the green prescribers that I'm seeing graduating these days. I don't see very many true naturopaths coming out of any of our naturopathic colleges anymore, and that's very disheartening to me. Mm -hmm. Basic medicine, diet, nutrition, 
mind, spirit, is what our, our profession is about. It's not about seeing someone and prescribing a herb instead of a drug, or prescribing a drug to mm -hmm. treat a condition. It's about looking for the root cause of the problem and treating the root of the problem and not just trying to prune the branches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I completely agree with that as well. So on that note, um, I just want to say thank you very much for taking thank, your time. Thank you for allowing me to participate. Okay.